from whatever it is you're doing, because tonight is the last night of the Paul Newman, Robert Redford movie. Oh. Both of them, Mary, together in the same picture. Two fantasies for the price of one. No. Come on. Don't tempt me, Rhoda. I can't. Mary, please, you're not hearing me now. Newman, Redford, you, me. You can have first choice. I'll take leftovers. <laughs> Rhoda, I'd love to, but I can't. i got to bring our obituary file up to date. Obituary file? Yeah, you know, the ones that we do in advance so that if somebody suddenly dies, then Ted doesn't just have to hum taps. <laughs> and I will never get it finished by tomorrow morning. Okay, okay, okay. You got me. What do you mean? Ah, oh, Mary, please. You think I don't recognize that old routine? Sure. That's the famous get the other person to help you write obituaries, Ruth. <laughs> Works every time. So, what letter are we up to here? A. <laughs> Austin. Mary, where are those terrific cookies? You know, the ones with all the big blobs, that really great stuff? Oh, we finished those at one. I mean, how about those other not-so-terrific cookies with the one little blob of the not-so-good stuff? Oh, yeah, we finished those at uh, two. Well, have we got any of those little dry, nothing, no-taste crackers? <laughs> the ones that people buy because they figure, well, they're Norwegian. <laughs> Do we? we finished those at three. <laughs> well, well. That must mean it is now exactly a quarter to <laughs> Melba Toast. <laughs> you know, this is only funny because it's four in the morning. I right? guess. Uh... And we are punchy. Now, Mary, look, let's get organized here. We have got to finish. I know. Let me be serious. All right, now. okay, all right. Organized. Yes, right. indeed. Serious. Hmm. <laughs> Mary, I'm surprised at you. You have got to get this finished. Okay. I mean, that yes. wasn't funny. But this is. <laughs> so listen, who is next? W, we're up to the W. Oh, Welsh, Raquel, Raquel Welsh. Raquel Welsh. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is going to be easy. Yeah. Raquel Welsh is obituary, sure. Okay. One thing for positive. We know she didn't drown. <laughs> Yeah, the next one, W. Oh, here. <laughs> Wee Willie Williams. Aww. <laughs> Who's Wee Willie Williams? <laughs> Wee Willie Williams is the oldest living citizen of Minneapolis. Mary, he's 110 <laughs> and a half. <gasps> okay, 110 and a half. That one. <laughs> okay. Um, for a long time, Wee Willie Williams was the oldest living citizen of Minneapolis. Huh? There were other citizens of Minneapolis who were older. Yeah. However, they happen to be dead. <laughs> okay, okay. When last interviewed, Wee Willie replied that he had no immediate plans for the future, <laughs> but hoped to include traveling, <laughs> gardening, and breathing. <laughs> Oh, the commercial's almost over. What's his name is on? Get back to you with the final item after this further message. Anything happen while I was out? No. Oh, except I had to add an obituary. Oh? Yeah, that old guy died. <laughs> what old guy? You, you, don't, you don't mean Wee Willie. Uh, what's his last name? With a, a, a W. Yeah, Williams, that's it. Ted got it from your desk. Oh, Murray, no. <laughs> Murray, is it too late? I've got to stop him. And now we come to a sad part of the news. Wee Willie Williams is dead at 110. <laughs> Murray, what's wrong? For a long time, Wee Willie Williams was the oldest living citizen in Minneapolis. There were other citizens in Minneapolis who were older. However, they happened to be dead. <laughs> Mary. We were crazy. It was four o'clock in the morning. Year, Wee Willie had no immediate plans for the future, but hoped to include traveling, gardening, and breathing. <laughs> Mary, I have no idea when we brought it in to show you. I didn't know that Ted was going to get it. Wee Willie had two main hobbies, which were whittling and going down to the bus station and not doing anything. <laughs> he also enjoyed playing his favorite little game, which he called ignoring people. <laughs> It was, no matter what anyone would say to him, he would turn his head away and stare off into space. But look at it this way. 
Now he can play it even better because he doesn't have to worry about blinking. <laughs> Harry, that wasn't yours, was it? Tell me it wasn't yours. Well, actually, Mr. Grant, uh, yes. That was yours. I see. It was yours. Oh, you better be here first thing in the morning. Mr. Grant? First thing in the morning, Mary. I can't believe it. I just don't believe it. Yeah? I don't think you should kid around with a guy's obituary. <laughs> I mean, what's Wee Willie's mom going to say? <laughs> seen Mr. Grant the way he was last night. I mean, I've seen him yell, and I've, I've seen him be sarcastic. I've never seen him be so mad that he couldn't talk. Murray, do you think everything's going to be all right? Sure. I'd bet Ted's life on it. <laughs> Can I see you a minute, Mary? Yes, sir. Mr. Grant, oh... Uh, what, what I wanted to say, um, well, it isn't exactly an excuse. Mary, there's no excuse for what happened. Y you're right, you're right. Of course, there, there is no excuse, but there is a, a well, a sort of explanation. Mary, there's no explanation That's for what true. happened. That's true, I know, I know. But, it, but, well, there's a kind of a half reason. Mary, there's no reason for what happened. Um, maybe, maybe you'll understand what I'm about to do if I tell you a little story. Yes, Mr. Grant, yes. <laughs> it's about this newsman. It's a story that every newsman has heard. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, when I was on the paper... Hmm. When I was on the paper in Detroit, there was this rewrite man. Uh-huh. Quiet guy. Uh... Play chess at lunch, you know, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, what he'd do was, on the basketball game scores, uh -huh. where they'd put the name of the referee... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> in, uh, ...in tiny type that nobody would ever read. No. Well... He put in a dirty word in Latin. <laughs> well, you know, what, what harm would it do? So a few doctors would have a good laugh. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Mary, he was 64 years old. He had five months to go to his pension. And they found out. And they fired him. Don't you see, Mary? They had to. It was just a little joke to him, but they had to fire him. Because you can take any liberty you want in any other area. You can kid around all you want. But the news is sacred. Now, if it was anybody else, I wouldn't have this problem as to what to do. But it's you. Well, Mr. Grant, I don't want any special treatment. Well, hey, this is the kind of thing they fire people for. Mr. Grant, I'd appreciate any special treatment. <laughs> Where to give, I mean... Mr. Grant? Hey, Mr. Grant! I, uh... I'm really sorry, Mary. You have to be punished. <laughs> I've decided to put you on suspension. Um, suspension? Two weeks without pay, effective now. Oh, I see. I'm... I'm really sorry. Lou, do you know how long I've been waiting outside to talk to you about my new blazer? <laughs> Look at this. All right, everybody freeze. I can't... Ted, I can't talk to you now. Oh, Mary, you have time for it. Sure, sure. Every time Mary says something, it's a big deal. Well, what is it? What is it? Mary find a new bow? Mary buy a new little outfit? Well, I need a new blazer. 
Just passing by. Well, Mr. Grant, I guess... Thank you, um... For not firing me. Well, thanks. He, um... Suspended me. Suspended you? Well, that's ridiculous. I mean, how can he treat you that way? I mean, it's humiliating. I mean, he's treating you like you're some kid who misbehaved in school. Boy, does that tick me off. I'm going to go in there and talk to him. No. Um, I'll do it. Yeah? May I speak to you, Mr. Grant? You can't, Mary. You're on suspension. <laughs> just um, talking to Murray and um, I can't allow myself to be treated like a like a kid who got caught throwing spitballs in school either you fire me or you keep me on but I just cannot take any kind of suspension and if you do that Mr. Grant then um, I'm not coming back Mary I thought about it overnight why don't you think about it well, no, I, I don't have to think about it overnight. I'm not uh, changing my mind. Well, I'm not changing my mind. Well... Well... <laughs> well, I guess, um... That's that. If that's your choice, Mary. That's my choice. Okay, then. Okay. Well, did you tell him? Yeah, I told him, and, um, it turns out I'm not coming back. You shouldn't have told him. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm, I'm glad I told him. Oh, Mary, I did this. I mean, I got mad, and you got fired. No, look, um, Mur, I, I don't want to talk about it now. I'll uh, call you later, okay? Mary, I, I don't believe this has happened. Yeah, I know, uh, neither do I. Hey, what's going on? Murray. Mary? What is it? Why are people saying each other's names? <laughs> well, goodbye, Murray. <clears throat> Bye. Why is Mary saying goodbye? Why is she crying? Why is she walking toward the door? Why is she opening the door? Why is she turning around and looking like a lost deer in the forest? Why is she crying again? Although I asked a question before and nobody answered why. Murray, can I ask you a question? If I get a new blazer, should I change the color? <laughs> Why are you so upset? Why'd you break the pencil? Why am I hanging around here? <laughs> that I was ideal for the job, said I was wonderful and had a terrific personality. I take that as a compliment, Mary. <laughs> well, he did give me one compliment. He said that he thought I was too attractive to have around. He said he thought we'd be too tempted. Can you imagine this drab, colorless, married man and he decides that we would be too tempted? <laughs> he shouldn't have said that. Drab, colorless men don't have an easy time of it, but they've got to learn consideration the same as other people. You know, I just can't believe that this is happening. That I'm actually looking for a job that I'm not at the newsroom? Yeah, sure. Or sometimes I think to myself, why? Why don't I just go back when the suspension is up on Monday? And then I say, no, I can't. Not after all that. Uh, Georgette, you want some more bread for the fondue? No, thanks, Mary. I've lost enough. <laughs> you know, I felt so bad about starting that whole Raquel Welsh thing in the first place. Oh, come on. So what I did was, I went to see Lou. Oh, Rhoda, no! You did, Rhoda, that was exactly the wrong thing to do! What did he say? <laughs> well, wait, no, wait, let me, let me get the coffee on. I don't want to be distracted. Um, shall we have it um, in the living area over here? Okay. Listen, uh, does anyone want cream or sugar? Uh, no, thanks. Good. No, thanks. Okay. Tell me everything. Don't leave anything out. It wouldn't see me. <laughs> 
that case, Mary, I'd like cream and sugar. <laughs> well, I'll probably find out what Mr. Grant's thinking tomorrow. I'm gonna have lunch with Murray. He'll fill me in. Oh, Mary, I feel so bad. I wish you were in love. Well, I don't think being in love would change anything, Georgia. <laughs> Just think, at a time like this, wouldn't it be wonderful to be able to turn to somebody you love, truly love, and be able to say, Oh, darling, I'm so miserable I could kill myself. Well, thanks for the thought. <laughs> You do, too. <laughs> hey, um, Murray, is there any chance that I'm going to be standing here and Mr. Grant is going to come walking out of his office? No, no chance. He's in a big meeting. Oh, good, good. <laughs> Boy, you look just wonderful. <laughs> oh, and the place looks just great, too. Yeah. Oh, Mur. I just know everything's going to work out all right. I just know There's it. No doubt about it, man. Oh, excuse me. You're sitting in my chair. Oh, I'm, uh... I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, newsroom. Yes, I'll have Mr. Grant take care of it right away. Uh, Mary, this is Erica Jordan. Uh, Erica Mary Richards. Oh, hi. How are you? Hello, Mary. Hi. I know how uncomfortable you both are. <laughs> Erica here knows how much we love Mary. On the one hand, Mary's a friend, but on the other, Erica's new and needs my guidance. <laughs> What'll I do? How will I play it? Well, um, excuse me. Mary, it's been very nice meeting you. Thank you. Very nice to meet you, too. Very, very nice. Oh, Mary. <clears throat> Just so there's no misunderstanding, I'd like to explain something. <laughs> this thing with you and Lou, well, I'm, I'm really sick about it. I mean, I really feel rotten for you. I really feel bad for you. I just want you to know that I'm on your side. I'm in your corner. Thank you, Ted. Thanks. But... You know how Lou is when he gets in one of his moods. Well, I figure there's no percentage in everybody suffering, everybody getting his head chopped off. You know what I mean? <laughs> so, uh, <clears throat> what I'm doing is acting like I'm behind Lou, but you and I know that I'm really behind you. Got it? Got it. Mary. Mary, you didn't tell me you were coming in. Oh, well, no, I was just, you know, gonna just slip in and slip out, no big deal. <laughs> well! Hi. Hello. <laughs> Look who come crawling back. <laughs> oh, say, Lou, uh, you want to have lunch with us? It might solve a lot if you have lunch with us. Oh, no, thanks. I had lunch. Well, it's not eating I'm talking about. You don't have to eat anything. Uh, why don't you take a walk with us? Oh, uh... Uh, I can't, Murray. Uh, uh, thanks, anyway. Uh, nice to see you, Mary. Oh, nice. But what did you, you think? How did it seem? Did it seem like he was softening at all? You know, you... I know how it seemed. Like, nothing has changed. Well, look, I know you got work to do, so I'll let you get to it. Yeah. I'll see you. Okay. Uh... We were supposed to eat together. We didn't do that. Oh, yeah. Uh, we should eat. Well, uh, listen, you want to eat across the street or downstairs? Wherever they have a drink. <laughs> That was a terrific lunch. <laughs> really good. Oh, you wanted your address book. Oh, right. Hey, Mayor. You're going to be okay. Yeah, I'm okay already. I'm... Well, I'll tell you something, Murray. It's a relief, you know? It's like when you realize something is over, you know, really over, then you can relax with it. And now I know that I'm not coming back and my life can go on. Well, I'm glad you're taking it this way, man. Yeah, really, I'm fine. Listen, give my love to Marie, will you? Yeah. And I'll call you really soon. Okay. Okay, bye-bye. Bye, man. I want to come back! I want to come back! Murray, I don't like it out there! I like it here! And I want to come back! I want to come back, Mr. Grant! I can't let me come back! Come in, come in. I'll get you a glass of water. You want a nice glass of water? No, I want to come back! 
Oh, oh we'll just take care of it all. What'd you do to her? Huh? Oh, Mr. Grant, I'm so sorry. I'm just really sorry. I, I don't know what came over me. Oh, no. Don't apologize. I mean, I've never done anything like that before in my life. I'm usually, you know, so in control of myself. And then, boy, suddenly, <laughs> I've just never done anything like that in my life. Yeah, well, really, it's, it's all right. Thank you. Yeah, it's okay. So, you want to come back? Yes, I want to come back. Now, you want to tell me about it? <laughs> Mr. Grant, it's just so lousy out there without my friends. It's just, it's so... Cold. Cold, boy. That's the word. Well, I know, I know. It, it hasn't a, uh, been exactly a warm spell around here either. Everybody mad at me for what I did to you. Going around giving me dirty looks, glaring at me over their coffee cups. <laughs> Somebody came in here during the night and broke all my pencil points. <laughs> I don't know why they're all so mad at me. What did I do? I mean, I missed you as much as anybody. More. And I missed you so much. And I want to come back, but now I see it's too late. Because there's some other person sitting in my chair. <laughs> oh, is there some other person sitting in your chair? Erica, yes, uh, would you take something to personnel for me? Oh. <laughs> right away, Mr. Grant. <laughs> Thanks. <clears throat> Personnel, Lou Grant. A girl's gonna be walking in carrying a red cup. <laughs> I want you to find her another job here. Well, that's not my problem. through and get them finished. Oh, Mary, I wouldn't kid around this time. Not after yeah. what you've been through, kid. Uh -huh. Please. Really, I, I really, really would be serious about it. Sure. Let's do Robert Redford. <laughs> when Robert Redford departed, those closest to him claimed to have heard him say one word, one last word, over and over. And this one word was Rhoda. as to what this strange word meant to Redford, but many believe it was probably the name of his sled. 